Everybody has a hot button that triggers their inner psychopath. What's yours? Taking it out on other people when you're in a bad mood. Just shows you don't really care how you make other people feel. I think it might show that you haven't really understood how you make other people feel, which is not the same thing, oops, my hot button issue is when people are so sure they know what's going on in the mind of the person they're judging. Because often, I can remember a time when I've been that person and I can tell you that's not what I was thinking. Yes. I get quieter than normal when I'm in a bad mood. I'll try to avoid people, but will still be pleasant with those I do interact with. If that makes you your internal psychopath you should see someone. When people are walking down a hallway or sidewalk, and the whole group of them just stops in place so no one can get by. That's when my inner linebacker comes out. That's some school hallway type shit. Oh. M. G. Yes. I'm a short lady and you better believe I've shoulder checked some tall meffers. It's gotten even better lately because I have to use crutches right now which gives some extra tripping limbs. Make a hole. My mom's ex, there was no depth he wouldn't sink to. My grandfather had a saying on the wall, some people are alive only because it's illegal to kill them. Gramps was a wise soul. Yes he was. He also had one that said everyone brings joy to our home, some when they enter, others when they leave. Those are some nice quotes. Reminds me of someone. Unfortunately. Gonna save these. Hello. We all have that little something that sets off our inner psychopath, right? Well, if you're feeling brave, go ahead and leave a comment below sharing what triggers your own personal psycho switch. Let's see who can come up with the most intriguing and mildly disturbing hot buttons out there. Being accused of a motive slash intent I didn't have. The worst part about that is the more you insist on defending yourself against the accusation, the guiltier they try to make you look. See, everybody? He's being argumentative. Jesus, reading this triggered thoughts of my mom. Thanks, now I'm gonna go scream into the void. A lot of us have problems with our mom. Not alone. People who deliberately make noise in public to disturb everyone else. Walking around with a speaker blaring music, driving around with the stereo at full volume and the windows down, modifying a motorcycle exhaust to make it ridiculously loud etc etc. Some people have the compulsive need to inflict themselves on others I swear. Uck we just got a new neighbor with a motorcycle and old car. When he comes home he has music on motorcycle on full, a lot of times vulgar music, sits in his garage listening to it while revving his engine. Last trash day he had massive new speaker boxes out to trash. So glad he's not Durskly next door to me. He has mommy issues. Please pay attention to me. When people respond in that really bratty way that's phrased like a question that's obviously meant to make you feel dumb. I've met too many grown adults who do it as if they're still snotty teenagers. Most adults never stop acting like children. My solution is to just stop hanging around people like that. Sometimes it's unavoidable though. Nonsense, hermitage is always an option. Sarcasm with an extra serving of scorn and belittling. You do know, thing they found out 5 minutes ago, right? I can't stand it when people ask you to help them with something but then end up taking forever to get ready. If you were going to make me wait 10 minutes you should have asked me then. I had a classmate do this to me. She asked me to solve 10 plus part chemistry problem. I told her sure, but in condition that she will be next to me so I can explain it to her. I waited for 15 plus minutes, she never came. What was she doing? Chatting with her friends. She thought I was gonna be her slave, do her homework, waste my time, while she socializes. Hell nah. I didn't even touch her notebook. She came like half an hour later and asked me if I finished the questions. I said no and turned around. Fuck that hoe. Sounds like the type of hoe who only eats hot chip and lie. My eyes didn't register hot in your post. So I sat here for a second or two asking myself what's chip and lie? Being hit slash slapped in the face. Instant 0 to 100 on the feral meter. Saw that how can she slap vid again yesterday. That was pure instinct. The poor guy then got beaten up for it. Being spit on too, almost worse actually. Hmm. I think I'd rather be slapped. Unless it is gonna injure me. Honest question, is this something that happens to you regularly? I've never been hit or slapped in my life, 
and I acknowledge this may be an indicator of a privileged childhood but at least in adulthood this seems relevant to my choices in life. Whenever someone splashes water in my face unexpectedly, it's like a volcanic eruption of inner rage, and my feral meter goes from chill to grizzly bear in seconds. Being asked the same thing over and over despite me saying no the first time. For instance, do you want anything to eat? No, thank you are you sure? Do you want to eat? I can do you a stir fry? You want pizza? Are you sure? I already said no. But it's no trouble here have something. Ray G. You know some people in the world would be lucky to have so much food. Animal slash child slash elder abuse. Hurting anyone helpless and innocent makes my blood boil. Hope karma was a thing and life was fair, but damn often the perpetrators of such heinous acts escape any real repercussion. I totally get what you mean, want to hear a story of mine a few days back about some guys at my school attempting to bully me for what clothes I like to wear? I want to tell this to a lot of people because a, it seems people like it, and b, it's the only interesting thing that has happened in my life for over a year. Yes, Plaza tell us her story, I want to know now lol. Influencers putting down the working class. So true. No one should be put down for their job. If they got a job, and keep a job, and can support themselves, or at least try, given our insane economy. They should be celebrated, not berated or put down. Scientology is personal to me. My hubby is a former Scientologist who escaped. Through him, I know things about this cult that I wish I didn't know. So, when I see someone on Reddit acting like Scientology is no worse than the flying spaghetti monster, I can get hostile pretty quickly. I want people to do some reading about the child sex trafficking, the forced labor, the forced abortions, the disconnection policy, the fair game policy, and the many other crimes of David Miscavige and other top executives before they come on Reddit and defend this cult. I suspect most of them have no clue what they're actually defending. L. Ron Hubbard, in a letter to Robert A. Hanley and another colleagues, said it was impossible to make a living as a sci-fi writer, and that he was going to start his own religion to make some easy money. He succeeded beyond his wildest dreams of avarice. Letter is recorded in Grumbles from the Grave, a collection of Ra's correspondence. So, when I see someone on Reddit acting like Scientology is no worse than the flying spaghetti monster. Wait, does that actually happen? I thought hating Scientology was one of the few things you could get every single Redditor to agree with. Bullies in general. Yet they live life normal while the ones who are bullied lives a life of insecurity, social awkwardness and helplessness. As someone who was bullied badly most of my life and done a lot of self-work I don't fully agree with this. I think bullies by and large are extremely insecure, awkward, scared and upset all the time but they learn to compensate for these things by making themselves feel better by pushing other people down. They put on a false sense of bravery and security. They think that they can hide their own vulnerability, fear and helplessness by being loud, violent, angry, pushy and mean. We definitely suffer for it yes but I think they do too. I've been a bully myself in order to compensate for having had people bully me. Bullies and the ineffectual authority figures who let them get away with being bullies. Entitlement and not respecting boundaries. This is a big one for me, I have frequent contact with a bunch of extremely out of touch and incredibly wealthy clueless ass people. These people's lives are so fucking easy they have to invent things to be stressed out about. It's like they're whispering in my ear, I dare you to touch my leftovers in the fridge. Oh, you did? Say hello to my little psychopath. Being dismissed as dumb due to the misconception that deaf people are incapable of learning. To add to this, hearing people with zero or little contact with the deaf community coaching new parents on what is best for their deaf or hard of hearing child and talking directly to the sign language interpreter in the third person instead of the deaf person in the first person. Tell Timmy I want him to turn in his homework. This so this. And in full disclosure, I'm a hearing interpreter. Anytime you work with an interpreter, you talk looking at the person you are speaking to, not act like they are not there, basic common courtesy. Loud static. Aggressive people. Heat. Heat, God does that make me just want to snap at everything. I always heard that's why crime goes up in the summer. Some folks just snap because of the heat. Imagine if that's half the cops snapping at criminals more. Cruelty to animals. Me too it makes my blood boil. 
being accused of something I didn't do. Watch out. Prideful is my middle name. Jazz prideful pants goes hard. ESP when you're about to laugh because how stupid they are. Try arguing with someone the internet. Never ending story.